How's it going everybody? Braddock here and today we're looking at my civil unrest bag. Y'all check it out. Alright guys, welcome back. Let's go ahead and jump in. Now a little bit about the bag. This is the Vertex Gamut bag. I'm a huge fan of Vertex products, especially the Gamut. It's just large enough to carry everything I need uh, and has a lot of organizational features within it. So jumping in, the first thing first, we have a pool tab here. And if we open that up, you can tell we have quite a few goodies. Uh, the first thing first is a Blue Force Gear Micro uh, Trauma Kit now, uh, which I'll do a video here in the near future of how I stock all my um, IFAX. Right below that we have a Gen 7 tourniquet. It's a Cat Gen 7. We have some Mechanic Impact Gloves. Right below that some Flex Cuffs. A signaling device, so it's a 15 minute uh, flare. We have a civilian smoke. And then right next to that, we have a chem light wrapped with 550 to use as a buzzsaw. And then moving up on top to go with the IFAC uh, 4 inch North American Rescue shears. So if we dive in over on the side compartment, we have a way to purify and filter water. So in this bag we have a 32 ounce water container, Sawyer Mini, iodine tablet, and a four-way Wilcox key. One of my biggest reasons to go with something like the Sawyer Mini is because of the straw that comes with it. So you can attach your straw and now you have a way to drink from a dirty water container. And moving to the other side compartment, is dedicated for all of my calories. So we have a small foldable spoon and fork, and then a few other items as well to make sure we get the calories we need throughout the day. Up on the top of the bag, there's a small compartment, which I usually use kind of as a everyday carry dump pouch. And this is something that will go straight in my pocket. We have uh, some gel spray. A quick access headlamp, the K bar TDI with the Ulti clip, and then another Cat Gen 7. Now, this tourniquet is on an ankle holster, which will go straight to my ankle as an everyday carry. Now, let's go ahead and open the larger compartment of the bag. So, quite a bit going on here. We have a pin, a dual tip permanent marker with the fat and the skinny tip, a Bushnell flashlight, I believe this is a 400 lumen flashlight, and a Skeletal. And this is something I highly recommend as an everyday carry just because it has everything you need and it's a super light multi-tool. Let's go ahead and open this up. The great thing I love about this bag is the clamshell opening so you can get down to the bottom of your bag without completely opening the bag and as you can see we have a few other compartments here a cigarette lighter adapter a wall adapter extra batteries a charger for my personal phone and then an adapter for both an android and a iphone and then to go along with that a portable phone charger on your next compartment is a few extra tools. In this, I have a Rider Lorraine notebook paper which contains all my personal contacts of family and close friends, duct tape wrapped around a piece of cardboard, a small Bic lighter, and quite a few zip ties cut to size. So in our larger compartment, we have quite a few items here. The first thing is a fencing tool. Now a little bit heavy, but it has both the fence cutter, a hammer, as well as your pry bar here. So a pretty universal with this tool alone. An 18 inch crowbar. And then we have a skull crusher, which is for not only PVS 14s. So this is a great option if you're in a nighttime environment and you want to see everything that's around you without giving yourself away. PVS 14s is the way to go. And if we dig in a little bit deeper, we have a gas mask and 
a DJI Mavic Mini. And this is a great option in an urban environment as it gives you kind of intel of everything around you without, once again, giving your position um, and staying clear from any possible traffic and or barricades that is down the road. Now something to really look into is this guy right here. This is the ice plate by Q-Cores. Um, I'm gonna have to double check and I'll leave that in the description down below. But basically it's a 1.5 liter hard shell water reservoir that you can keep either cold and or warm water in it. You can throw it in the freezer, freeze it overnight. Uh, but the cool thing about this is since it is a hard shell, it won't burst on you like your other water bladders. And also, as you can see, it is quite thin. It also has a curb to go with the curvature of your body. So if you're wearing this with a plate carrier, it's pretty ideal. There is one QD on the hose for the water bladder down at the bottom. And if we move to the other side where the straps are, I have a small magnetic clip there and another QD up on top. Now the reason for the QD being up on the mouthpiece is so I can then attach this guy here and I can fill up my water reservoir from the outside of the bag through the hose line. So I can attach this to a water buffalo, a water hose, even a water bottle and be able to fill my water container straight from the hose. And of course one of the coolest concepts of Vault Vertex bags is this guy here. This is your quick response or quick access zipper, which you can then swing all the way around you to get access to your firearm if you are carrying one. In this case, we have a Premier Body Armor. This is the level 3A, holds up to a 44 mag. And then we also have a chest rig. This is a knockoff by PTAC gear of the T-Rex Arms ready rig. And as you can see, we're running a few mags up front. This is set up for a 22 MMP because ammo is super expensive right now. We have a spare mag for a Glock 19. Off to the right of that, we have another Gen 7 Cat and then a small IFAC to include ARS decompression needle, chest seals, and an MPA. And if we move on to the other side of the chest rig, we have another civilian smoke grenade and then a sort of communication device. So this is a Baofeng radio with also a headset. So if you want to be somewhat covert, and not have anybody know that you're speaking on comms, you can wear a headset. And then next to that, another 800 lumen flashlight. Now the really cool thing about this chest rig is that it is super micro and doesn't give off a very noticeable print when wearing a jacket. So super ideal in a winter time situation if you are wearing a jacket or even something like a windbreaker. Uh, you can wear this across your chest, have a windbreaker on, and you will not even notice you have or are concealing some type of chest rig. Now the great thing about the gamut, it is large enough to carry a 11 and a half AR pistol with a folding adapter, but I highly recommend everybody conceal carry. So in this case for a urban bug out bag and or civil response bag, we are carrying on person at the appendix a Glock 19 with a Trijicon RMR and a Streamlight TRL1HL and that's the high lumen as well as the extra magazine. Well, that about wraps it up for my Civil Unrest Urban Bug Out Bag. Y'all make sure to like and subscribe down below. I'm Braddock. Y'all stay ready.